parallel basically means running alongside but never ever meeting. It's kind of tragic really. Two parallel lines will be close perhaps but will never ever meet. An example would be if I drew a line down here and then another line up here. These lines would never ever meet no matter how long they went going right or going left they'd never ever meet. And often in maths we show that they're parallel by drawing a little arrow, like so. But how do we do parallel stuff when we just have the equations like this? That's what we're going to look at. First of all, we have the question, write down the gradient of the line y equals 3x plus 4. Now, I've covered this in another video, but the gradient essentially is the number next to the x. If you have an equation of the form y equals something something x plus something, then the number next to the x is the gradient. So here, 3 is the gradient. Why is that even useful though? Who cares what the gradient is? Well, the gradient is basically, for every 1 you go right, that's how far up or down you go. For every 1 you go right, the gradient tells you how far up or down you go. What about this plus 4? Well, just quickly to recap, the number on its own is the y-intercept. That's where it crosses over the y-axis, this line going up here. In other words, when x is 0, which is this line, what extra number do we have? 4. That's kind of our head start. So we can see that this line, y equals 3x plus 4, would start off here at plus 4 because of the y-intercept of 4. Now the gradient of 3 means for every 1 you go right, it goes up by 3 because it's plus 3. So 1, 2, 3. For every 1 you go right, you go up by 3. 1, 2, 3. So there's our line. But we wanted to know about parallel. Well, a parallel line to this would be another line with the gradient of 3. Say this time one that starts off at 0, which would just be y equals 3x, because that has no intercept, that has no extra number. Well, that starts off at 0, and then for every 1 it goes right, it goes up by 3, it has the same gradient. For every 1 it goes right, it goes up by 3. So you can see, to cut a long story short, that if something has the same gradient, it means it's parallel. If we draw this line, it will become even more clear. We saw that this has the gradient of 3, because for every 1 you go right, it goes up by 3. And what does that mean? It means it's parallel to the other line that had the gradient of 3. y equals 3x plus 4. So, to answer the next question, write down an equation for another line parallel to the line y equals 3x plus 4. All we need to do is think of any line which has a gradient of 3. An example would be y equals 3x minus 7 or minus 70 or minus 700. Where it cuts over the y-axis doesn't really matter. As long as it's got this gradient of 3, it will forever be parallel to this line y equals 3x plus 4 and will never meet. They'll never cross over. Let's test that out with one more line. Let's say, for example, I have the line y equals minus 2x minus 2. y equals minus 2x minus 2. First of all, let's draw that line. Let's draw the line y equals minus 2x minus 2. Well, here we have the y-intercept, the crossing over point. Don't forget, that's the crossing over point. That number on its own is where it crosses over the y-axis. Imagine this is like your border fence. Y is like your, your border fence, and the number on its own is where you cross that border fence. So there's minus 2, so there's the minus 2 down here on the border fence. Now what's this number next to the x? The number next to the x is the gradient. The number next to the x is the gradient. So we have a gradient of minus 2. What does the gradient of minus 2 mean? It means for every 1 you go right, you go 
down by 2. If it was positive 2x, that would mean for every 1 you go right, you go up by 2. But minus 2x means for every 1 you go right, you go down by 2. Let's keep drawing that. For every 1 you go right, you go down by 2. 1 you go right, down by 2. Now if I ask you the question, can you give me a line, can you give me the equation of a line which is parallel to that, what would you say? Try to think of a line which is going to be parallel to this. To be parallel, you need to have the same gradient. So if you said y equals minus 2x plus anything or minus anything, you're right. Let's do y equals minus 2x plus 7. That is parallel to this other line. And if we wanted to draw that, where does it cross the border fence? At plus 7, which is up here. There's plus 7. And what's its gradient? Minus 2. So if every 1 it goes right, down by 2. 1 right, down by 2. 1 right, down by 2. And we can see that indeed these two lines are parallel and tragically, romantically almost, they will never ever meet.